Welcome back, beautiful people. I know you're here for information on Two Rivers, and that's exactly what I'm going to deliver. I have a very exciting interview today with Jessica from Pulte. She's going to give us some great insight on what's going on with Pulte, a little bit about her, and all the great things that come to Westy Chapel, Zephyr Hills, and the Tampa area. Let's get to it. back i'm here with the wonderful miss jessica she is the leader when it comes to new construction with pulte and two rivers how are you doing today i'm good thanks for Heck having yeah. me absolutely so we're here to talk about two rivers who jessica is who pulte is and why they're going to be one of the best builders in two rivers so where where are you from jessica uh, i'm originally from the dc baltimore area but okay. i live here in downtown tampa okay perfect what brought you to florida uh, the weather, great stuff to do. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and how long have you been here? Um, almost seven years now. Seven years. And yes. have you been selling new construction since then? or? Yes. I sold for five years for another builder up in the DMV area. And then I've sold for Pulte the entire six and a half years that I've been here. Okay, so. cool. And how's your experience been selling with Pulte? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. it's. I'm really happy to be with them. We're one of the top three builders in the country. And we are best places to work and just really great company all around. Absolutely. What other what other communities do you guys build in? We have almost 40 communities and growing in the Tampa Bay area. And we do have five other divisions in the state of Florida as well as divisions like all, all across the country. Um, but throughout Tampa, we go as far north as Ocala and Spring Hill and as far south as Parrish. Gotcha. And what do you think separates Pulte from other builders at that price point? Um, definitely our build quality and our warranty. That's our big standout that a lot of people know us for. And what's that warranty? Um, our warranty is, it's the same nationwide. It's a 10 year structural, a five year water and leak infiltration, um, a two year workmanship, and then a one year, what I call bumper to bumper warranty, um, where they get a 11 month post closing walkthrough and a portal where they can put in any kind of maintenance requests or service requests. So it's, it's really thorough. Okay. And could you, for anybody that's watching that's interested in Pulte, what's mm -hmm. the process when working with Pulte and purchasing a home? Um, the process, it's all different based on which community you're in and if you're buying a quick move in or building from scratch. Mm -hmm. But when you're buying a quick move in, it's a little bit more of an expedited process, I would say. But our to be built process or building from scratch or building from dirt, as some people call it, is probably about a seven to eight month process across the board. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. And what model should we be looking forward to in Two Rivers? Um, the, the Scarlet and the Roseland are under construction now, um, and then we do have a sales center that is going to be ex uh, exclusive home that is just going to be our sales center. So it won't be a decorative model, but there will be plenty of room to meet with us, sit down, price out homes, learn about the community, learn about the area, and then we might have a fourth model coming later this year that I can give you some more information about next time. So, so exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy to see that um, a lot of builders are bringing something different to Two Rivers specifically. Yes. Every other builder has like their one little nuance that separates them from other builders or any other community that they've built in previously. Yes. So when it comes to Pulte, what mm -hmm. do you guys have that really separates you from any other builder in any other community? Um, I would say Two Rivers is gonna be very niche as you're saying. I think even within Two Rivers, as you mentioned, all the builders are gonna have what separates them either aesthetically or construction standards. I think with Pulte, Internally, what separates us from our other Pulte locations is just how elevated the Two Rivers product is going to be. We're going to have tile roofs. We're going to have a lot of interior things such as cabinets to the ceiling, possibly waterfall countertops, um, freestanding tubs, things that we've never offered in any other community and will not be offered in any other community except the Two Rivers. And why do you think that is that people are bringing like, their A game to Two Rivers? I just think that because of the area and the price point in that area that we're stepping it up in Two Rivers is because of just the type of buyer that we were seeing in previous communities mm -hmm. of ours that were in the same zip code. We were previously in K-Bar Ranch, which I sold, and we just found that the demand and kind of when we sat down and were listening to what the customers were saying that they wanted, we decided to, you know, put pen to paper this time mm -hmm. and, and give the people what they want. Gotcha. So. Yeah, and I think, I think that with the magnitude of what Two Rivers is, a 7,000 uh, 7, acre project with mm -hmm. 6,500 homes, there mm -hmm. might be more in my opinion. Um, people are like, everybody seems to think that this really is like one of the best places to showcase such a product, mm -hmm. you know, especially even, not even builders, but like I was told that uh, Publix 
mm-hmm. they're gonna have their biggest location ever in Two Rivers. Yes, which is saying something considering that one just opened in Wesley Chapel, which is already amazing, the one near Epperson. So Correct, yeah. I'm really excited to see what this one brings. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy to see the concepts that they're, they're trying to experiment and stuff, so it's I think it's gonna be a wonderful project. Mm-hmm. What else can you share about Two Rivers that can really, that you know on the back end that a lot of people wouldn't know about? Um, well, I don't know if everybody knows that they are going to be building quite a few amenity centers in the community and a golf course. I don't know if you know that, but yes, there is yes. a new golf course coming. Um, I think the biggest thing that people don't know yet about Two Rivers until they really start to do research is just how thoughtful the developers have laid it out as far as yeah. just even having like the fire pits and the you know community centers and the, the trails and it's just going to be amenities at every corner instead of just one central location Mm -hmm. that's kind of inconvenient to get to logistically. Correct. Yeah, it's going to give you a reason to kind of stay within the community and mm -hmm. then kind of you have also other amenities within Wesley Chapel and Zephyr Hills that I don't think any other really city has. No, no. It's been a long time since we've seen a master plan community of this magnitude. Right. Yes. And and again, another reason why I think a lot of people are bringing their A game because Mm -hmm. there's not a lot of land left. Mm-mm. This won't, this will, why they build a golf course, because they know that there is a demand for it, mm-hmm. and now they might as well use this opportunity to showcase their product for the last opportunities in Wesley Chapel. Absolutely, yep. What is one of your favorite floor plans that you guys offer with Pulte? My, without a doubt, my favorite floor plan is going to be our model, which you're probably going to be surprised to hear, it's the Scarlet, not the Rose one, which is what we're in right now. Correct. The yes. Rose one is a showstopper, and it definitely has the wow factor, but I am obsessed with the Scarlet. I love that layout. Um, I like that it has a loft upstairs. Mm. I love that it has the probably one of the biggest walk-in closets in the owner's suite, which of course I love. Yeah. And then uh, walk-in pantry. I love to cook, so I love how big the kitchen is with the walk-in pantry. There's just so many little things I could pick out about it that mm. I really like. And it's a really, really, really good dollar per square foot, too. When you line it up against a lot of other plans, mm-hmm. you're really getting a lot of living space, a lot of bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage for your money. Gotcha. And who do you think is the ideal person for Two Rivers? Anyone and everyone who can qualify. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think, but in all reality, I think the, the ideal person for Two Rivers is someone who um, really just wants to be near all the conveniences of Wesley Chapel, but maybe not be sitting in the traffic of it every day. Gotcha. So you're That's close. A good point. To, yeah, you're you're close to the shops at Wiregrass. You're close to everything on 54 as far as retail goes. You're you're so close to so many things. You can even get down to Tampa fairly quickly with all the different highways, but you maybe just want to feel like you're in a quiet, secluded, you know, mm-hmm. elevated place. Correct. So. Yeah. And like you said, the, um, the developers working so good with the family that owns the land, yeah. they're putting conservation everywhere. Mm-hmm. You see that, for example, in a place like Riverview, for example, mm-hmm. Riverview, you have a lot of houses that are somewhat stacked on each other. They yes. really try to ring out the land with how many homes they could put on it. Absolutely. But something that I've seen and they focus on tours, you can attest to it, mm-hmm. is they're really focusing on the spacing. Yes. So a lot of houses with, you know, ponds in the back, trails, not so many houses stacked on each other. Obviously, certain layouts and certain price points, you'll have that. Mm-hmm. But with the conservation lots, everything's so green. It's so quiet over there. Yes. And it's crazy to see. And I think, it, yeah, I think at a certain price point and a certain um, stage in people's lives, they want privacy and quiet. Mm-hmm. And I think having a conservation view home site, which is the majority of what we have, is going to be at the top of their wish mm-hmm. list. So. Absolutely. So what are some of your favorite things about Tampa specifically? About Tampa? Uh, well, there's a, I live downtown Tampa. Um, mm-hmm. There is a lot to do really everywhere you go. Obviously, we're very close to Orlando, so mm-hmm. there's all theme parks there. Um, I do love going to all the beaches and everything. I love that I feel like there's a new restaurant that opens every week uh, yeah. in my neighborhood because I live downtown. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I can pinpoint one thing, but I do. I love the winters because the weather is amazing. It's a little hot right now because it's the thick of the summer, but yeah. even with that being said, there's still quite a bit to do. Correct. So. And how long does it take you from downtown to get to Two Rivers? 35 minutes. 35 Yeah, minutes. 35, maybe 40. Mm-hmm. Which so. is a basic average drive here in Florida, yeah. wherever you go. Absolutely. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, like you said, the location of Two Rivers is amazing mm-hmm. because they're expanding so many roads and you have access to 275. Yep. You have access to I-4, which is directly to Orlando. You'll mm-hmm. probably get to Kissimmee, which is Disney and what, like? 45 an hour. Yeah, I think traffic. I timed it the other day and it was 50 and such. It was right under an hour, so it wasn't yeah, bad at know, all. It's, so. it's, it's, and it's an amazing location. So what should we expect to see more of Pulte and Two Rivers? Oh, you can give up. I don't, I don't know. I'm just letting them. Um, 
you can expect to see a lot of plans that we have built in other communities. So a lot of familiar plans, but maybe with new names mm -hmm. because we have basically kind of wiped the slate clean, figured out, you know, what people wanted in those plans, what was maybe an upgrade before should now be standard and just elevated them to, to kind of rebrand them, but still mm -hmm. keep them under Pulpy, obviously. So a lot of things that before that were upgrades are now going to be included, and you're going to see a lot more modern um, exteriors or elevations, as we call them. Gotcha. Because so. you were explaining to me, for example, yeah. where you are currently in the Roseland, mm -hmm. but for example, the kitchen the kitchen's phenomenal. I love yeah. this kitchen. Um, but you guys said that there's going to be little nuances, like for example, you're going to have cabinets that go all the way to the roof. Yep. And yeah. you guys really listen to um, the what is it the uh, the feedback yes. from from previous owners mm -hmm. of like things that you can improve on. Absolutely, we've had other communities in the past of this magnitude as far as the price point, the type of home sites and the type of amenities. For example, Starkey Ranch, we sold the, the Roseland was one of our most oh, popular yeah. sellers in there, and we found that a lot of the homeowners, if they weren't able to get something that they were requesting at the time of contract, they had the means to do it after they moved in. So mm -hmm. we just kind of felt like, you know, maybe we're missing a huge opportunity here to, you know, do a freestanding tub or do cabinets to the ceiling or, or do, um, you know, a little bit more offerings as far as appliances go in the kitchen and flooring. So we just kind of wanted to uh, maximize every opportunity we could if people can be at that price point. Gotcha. And, and you stand out amongst other builders. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. In a personal opinion, I, I think Pulte is my favorite home builder. Yay. Um, obviously at that price point, obviously you can go upward, but at what you're getting and the finishes, um, I, I love, and I, I realized that when in Waterset, mm -hmm. um, it was it the mahogany model. Yep. I, I walked in and I'm like, this is my, like, this would be ideal for me. Yes. And that's exactly our goal with Pulte. Um, when you compare us to other builders, we want it. We want you to walk in and think exactly that. We want you to feel like it's attainable, mm -hmm. not unattainable as sometimes other models can be. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, yeah. So what do you like specifically about Wesley Chapel? Cause I know you previously sold in K bar ranch. Yes. Um, you have experience. That's why you're primarily the lead on the sales on these. Yes. So what do you love about Wesley Chapel and Zephyr Hills area? Uh, well, I love the shopping. Let's start there. <laughs> um, the, um, I love going to the outlets up there. I love the shops at Wiregrass. Mm -hmm. I love it. Really anything you can imagine. It's just within a short drive's reach. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's somewhere that if I were to move out of downtown, which I'm considering at this point in my life, that it would be the first place I would look would be that area gotcha. because I wouldn't be giving up any of my conveniences. Mm -hmm. A lot of businesses in the urban core of Tampa are expanding out to this area exactly. Correct. Some already have, and I know for a fact that some are already looking so, mm -hmm. for commercial yeah. space. I definitely noticed that, especially like, like you said, in Tampa. Tam mm -hmm. I think Tampa as a whole is expanding, but then you have certain pockets that are expanding as well. And like, you might have new concepts opening up, new right. restaurants. Like something is always happening. People are very social. For example, like the crates. Yep, the like crates. The crates is a very unique, uh, one of one type of event space kind of neighborhood. Um, just a cute place to be. Mm -hmm. And they're always putting events on. Yep. And you can't find that anywhere else. No, no, it's very unique, but it's what it's what people don't want to give up when they move to the suburbs. Correct. So. Correct. And like for example, like the the Porter family. They're looking at expanding a $1.2 billion downtown project. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy to see the amount of money that's investing in this area. Yep. And I think, honestly, to live in Wesley Chapel eventually will be such a prestige yes. that like only a certain type of person can really even live there. Mm -hmm. And I see that, especially with Two Rivers, like you're, you don't, there's no other community in the area, maybe Rivers Edge, mm -hmm. that's going to offer what Two Rivers can offer as far as like finishes, certain floor plans and things like that. Oh, absolutely. It's definitely a prestige, as you said, mm -hmm. so. Okay, perfect. So I know currently right now you guys have listed what floor plans you guys are gonna have available yep. in Pulte and Two mm -hmm. Rivers. Um, when should we expect to see pricing and the releases of some of these models? Very, very, very soon. So mm -hmm. if you have any clients um, that are interested, definitely get them on the VIP list now with me. Um, the, we are expecting to have a couple of inventory homes when we first start. We're not going to do heavy inventory in this community, but we do have a couple in the ground. We're really going to let people pick out the home sites and build it from scratch. Mm -hmm. But we will sell some in mid-August, so get on the VIP list. Otherwise, you won't find out about it. So if you're on it, you'll find out about the pricing and the release date. And then after that first um, initial um, release in mid-August, we are going to start doing VIP appointments for folks who want to build from scratch right after that. So last couple weeks of August, going into early September, you will be able to sit down with me, price out the home, look at home sites, get an idea of where your home would land at. 
all in and then in mid or early to mid September we'll go live for sales and then with our models grand opening in mid to late September gotcha so and you can get in contact with me and Jessica yes. in the description below sign up for the mailing list we already had multiple people asking questions trying to get information so I suggest you get in that that mailing list you come direct contact with me and Jessica so anything you get or any information that you need you can get before anybody else have you guys had a lot of traction so far with Two Rivers? Yes, we have. I think as of a couple days ago, we had 1,200 leads and counting on the list. So quite a lot of interest, and it's probably up even more since then. So Yeah, since the last check. Yeah. How many homes do you expect to build in the community? I think it's a little under 500 to start, mm -hmm. and then with anticipation of possible future phases. Gotcha. And what village are you guys in? We are in a couple different ones. I believe... Um, where is the building now? Um... Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is that one. It is that <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, we're in Delilah, but then I'm, there's another one that we got locked in, and I, I can't remember. Which oh one no, no, just, just say that one. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll, okay. Later on. Okay. Um. So yeah, so we're gonna start out in Delisle, and then you'll see us possibly in some other ones as well. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, very excited. Um, Yay. again, one of the biggest builders in in the area, one of the nicest finishes. You guys will be one of the premier builders in Two Rivers. Um, anything else that you want to let the folks know about you, Pulte, Two Rivers? No, just that uh, get in early. It's going to pay to be one of the first ones to buy. You're going to get the best pricing and mm -hmm. uh, with the best realtor. <laughs> Got you guys. And what amenity center are you guys going to be appointed to? Because I know they're doing multiple amenity centers. Yes, we're going to be, our models are literally right next to the amenity center. You'll be able to see it from the models. Got you. And are so, you guys going to have a village amenity center or are you guys going to be directly with the, um, the landing? So I know that other villages, mm -hmm. for example, like uh, North Child and other villages have their own personal amenity center, yes. usually where their mailbox is, yep. but there's going to be pockets of Two Rivers. For example, you guys, I believe, are in North, like the North part of Two Rivers. We're in, uh, we're kind of, when you look at the South side of the highway, we are kind of on the upper end of it mm -hmm. and we are right next to the large landing amenity center. It's actually walking distance from our section. Gotcha. So you won't have to spend $10,000 on a golf cart. You can walk to the, the amenity center and, yeah. and have some fun with your neighbors. And what information do you know about it? What amenities are they going to have? I know, I believe they're going to have like mm -hmm. two pools. Yep. Pool fitness center, mm -hmm. um, sports courts, I believe pickleball and tennis. Um, and then a lot of trails that kind of tie into it that go throughout the community with places you can stop and you know maybe play in the field with your dog and your kid and um, there's also going to be fire pits where you can kind of gather around at night and you know have a glass of wine make some more things like that mm -hmm. um, so there's going to be a lot of kind of pocket amenities that that go off of the main amenities gotcha. so. and what can you tell us about some like commercial spaces that are going to be in there obviously the big public is going to be in there yes um, they've really been focal on like entertainment um, you know dining things mm -hmm. like that what do you know about that I don't know any names or anything confirmed yet yeah. because I, I've kind of heard the same as you. I know Publix is, is the biggest excitement so far, mm -hmm. but I think the commercial deals are still kind of being worked out, but I'm really curious to yeah. see. I know that they, they want it to be very much a stay and play vibe in there where you don't have to drive far. Mm -hmm. It's already very close to a lot of conveniences, but I think they want it to truly be, you know, once you're home, you're, you're home. Gotcha. So gotcha. excited yeah. to see what's coming. Yeah, we're very excited as well. This is Jessica with Pulte. If you have any questions, her information will be down uh, below as well. So get you in a Pulte home.